with Eric Stone Street and here with us as well, the charcuterie queen, AKA Karina Caffarelli. I am so excited. This is such a good education for me right now. I'm so excited. It's gonna be good. And it's be Eric, good. you did a rose salami challenge recently with your fiance. Yeah, mine turned out terrible. Hers was actually like pretty impressive. So teach us not oh, yes. only how to do the rose, but how to be less intimidated by making Absolutely. your own charcuterie board, which Absolutely. is just such a game changer of a treat for everybody. Oh, yes. I'm so excited to show you guys. So we're definitely gonna start with the rose first, it's the star of the show. Okay. How do we do so, it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first piece of salami yes. just like this, and we're just gonna kind of hug it around the glass. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pe repeat this all around the glass. So overlapping? Gonna, yep, overlapping. So taking another piece, overlapping. <laughs> Just all around the glass. This would be a great rim for a Bloody Mary. Yes, honestly. The, it would they, I feel like they have like sausages hanging out of Bloody Mary's, Eric. They at do. This point. I actually just went somewhere um, where Drew, they've had this that. This is a family show. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. So once we have the first like round of it, we're, we're gonna. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. We're gonna take the second layer and do the exact same thing. So we're just gonna keep going okay, right over monotonous. the glass. And do you want to like then right? go in where you didn't or follow the exact same line? You can manipulate it. So you can, if you want, you can go on the opposite side of the line. Yeah, I feel like filling like bricks. in. Yeah, I feel exactly. like covering the seams. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> are we going for a third we're, layer? We're going. We're going oh. for it because you know what? The more pieces you pick, the bigger the rose is gonna look on the board. Okay. So you want it to look really nice and full. Alrighty, so now this is the this is the fun step. <laughs> so we're gonna move the plate out of the way. So you wanna kinda look at the board and say, all right, where are we gonna put this rose? And you wanna kinda be the center of attention. So we're gonna put it right in the middle. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and flip it right over. And you got the oh perfect mommy rose. See, look at that, you did it. Perfect. Oh no. You gotta ah! look a little bit. Perfect, ah! see? Yeah. I Isn't it amazing? So and now of we're course. Cool that. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you take a little piece and All just. All right, now that we've got our centerpiece, like what would you do next? Help. Like, now oh, we're gonna go to the prosciutto. Yeah. With the prosciutto, sometimes you get pieces of prosciutto that are a little annoying. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you pieces that you could just plate them down really nicely. So what we're gonna do is just take them because these are folded perfectly. But sometimes you do get pieces that are a little, Weird, but what you're gonna do, just plate it right around. You're doing perfect. Oh, no, no, now I'm no, going on my own. No, now you're I'm not. No, no, but, that, my own drum. but that's the beauty of it. You could do whatever you want. So after this, we're, we can go in with some fruit. Yeah, but I'm, and I'm an I expert like to add, here. What you am are, I doing? Listen, you are an expert. <laughs> now what? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fruit, and this is where I really like to play with color and add color onto the board, and that's where you're really gonna make the board pop. Okay. So what you can do is take your fruit, you're gonna take some oranges, some kiwis, <laughs> citrus season is right now, so that's perfect. <laughs> Um, okay, yep. oranges, kiwis, where? Okay, Perfect. next to right it. in there. Add I'm making oil. my board pop. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the cheese a little bit. All right, so brie, yep. you have it super creamy. This is like mm. perfect right now to eat because God, of optimal brie. temperature. You always wanna eat your cheese and charcuterie board at room temperature. Yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna plate that right next to the our salami rose. Okay. Because I know that the brie and the salami oh, will yeah. really perfect together later on. I love brie. I could spread it on anything. Oh, me too. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with a little bit of flavor and go in with this fig jam. Mm. Have you ever had fig jam? Yes, love I love it. Jam. Okay, have you ever put fig jam with a little bit of brie and a little bit yes. of salami yes. together? Yes, okay. perfect. All right, I've so you guys many know. Charcuter charcuterie boards. Yeah, you got it. So look at like... that, you have it hugging right there. So when you have people oh, going see, in later on. better. No, but that's perfect. You have it right there with uh. the brie and the fig jam. So it's easy for people to go in and get that really perfect bite. Mm -hmm. So after that, we're gonna take some crackers. I love these crackers. They have a little, oh, they're yeah. super the crunchy. Yeah, these are the best crackers. 50 billion they're of them. They're super crunchy, they taste really nice, and they go perfect with the prosciutto, the brie, oh, the salami, dates. and the I fig love jam. dates. Yeah, that's Do you like say. dates, Eric? I love dates. Me too. Yep. I'm telling you, we put have them twin on tongues. The board. Okay, what'd that's you put perfect. on the dates? So we did the dates next. Okay. Perfect. And then what we can do, always the last step, what I like to do is go Eat in. Oh. Well, before that, we always like to go in with a little bit of garnish. So what I like to do is I like to kind of keep it near the salami to make it look like it's a little stem coming out of the salami. So what I like to do is just plate the rosemary just like that. And you can even put it right in the front like so. Let's see, I love that. That looks perfect. Thank you. 
Hey, you know what? Mine doesn't suck. No, absolutely not. They look beautiful. Look at that. It looks perfect. Yeah. Mine's pretty nutty. <laughs> I'm actually like, I'm. I love it. I gotta tell you, I feel really good. Like they look beautiful. I'm not an overconfident person. No, you should be, especially after making that. I feel good about this. Absolutely, and it's on a lazy Susan, so you could spin it around for your guests to enjoy. Eric, oh, Eric, yours looks that looks beautiful. amazing. That looks amazing. See, you got all the colors. I love adding the oranges. It looks beautiful. You know what I see when I see yours? What? Bountiful. Mm, thank Good you. Word. That's what a lot of Absolutely. people call me. Absolutely I beautiful. Bountiful. <laughs>